Here we go, an update from the estate while we're in lockdown. We will come to this area uh, in a moment or two. Um, this is the front of the house, obviously. Uh, the reason that we have the cars parked so far back and not actually on the drive is um, for this purpose. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Any passers-by, basically, you've got to kind of dodge the pigeons. Um, and I'm in out here with buckets of bleach and everything trying to scrape this down. But if we have the cars park out here, we come out to basically um, not pleasant. I, I, I have to say the pigeons in Blythe have got to be some of the most well-fed pigeons, um, considering what I've had to scrape off the cars. Um, to be rather graphic, last week it was nothing short of, looked like they'd had Weetabix that had just gone straight through. I've never seen anything like it. Um, but that's why the cars are not on the drive at the moment, otherwise it would be literally daily car cleaning. Just uh, the day before we did go into lockdown, we finally got permission from the council uh, to have some of the branches pruned. Um, otherwise it's going to take them two years to get around to it. Um, so probably once we are out of lockdown, fully out of lockdown, we will have somebody, just a tree surgeon, just to come around and take some of those branches away. Um, but there will still be plenty of branches for the birds to uh, sit on and basically crap over people walking past. Um, as you can see, uh, Maisie Monty Don Titchmarsh Bridgman has been busy out here. Um, she managed to plant most of this last year. And obviously due to lockdown at the moment, finding plants is difficult. We are very lucky that Marie works for Aldi. Um, because they have been selling some small bedding plants and mum has been able to do some hanging baskets out the back but we are preparing this um, area um, this is mum's project but again i will come back to that that's a brand new brick wall that we had done just before christmas um, the one that was there before was an old council one it was crumbling away a bit it got frost in it and the brick layer that we found basically we, we said we wanted it as high as next door and he'd done it for us it looks fab and then we had a brick wall over this side that was much smaller than the one that is there now and it stepped down um, to the fact that it was only about a foot and a half high down to where you can see the fence there. Um, the 15th of January this year, for those of you who don't know, we had a car crash through, fortunately the very bottom part of the wall came through there. And it was a stolen car, it had been involved in another incident that was quite tragic and what had happened at that scene is somebody then stole the car that had accidentally hit and killed a pedestrian. Somebody there stole the car, would you believe? The driver got out to give assistance to the person that he'd hit and somebody else at the scene stole his car and drove it through our brick wall. Um, I am still digging out rubble. Um, unfortunately, this area of the, the garden um, is pretty much... Uh, you know there's just I've, i think i've dug more bits of the car out than they actually ended up towing away fortunately we didn't have the cars parked on the grass at this point i think mum's red car was actually on the drive the picanto the blue one was where m the red one is now but just a bit further back so the car missed all of that but he stopped about the car stopped about here i think the the small rubble of the brick wall he managed to stop but there was bricks everywhere and um, you can see a bit still embedded in the the wall here um, but fortunately he missed hitting that which is the gas mains, bot, mains um, supply um, and he actually escaped on foot by the time we heard it and got down here he'd legged it I don't know how he survived it but as I say I'm, I'm at the moment trying to clear this I, I, I wouldn't like to cut the grass there'd be bits flying out that could cause damage to uh, to myself and anybody walking past um, but it could be that uh, we bring some of the boxes that I had and dismantled when we were down in the flat, um, which I still have um, here, that we um, I, I rebuild them and we put them out, out the front and maybe grow some stuff out the front at some point. Um, I'm just going to show you these. Um, my niece, Tracy, uh, had some, some of these slabs for her house up here in Blythe, redoing a patio and there were some left over my brother went and rescued them um, because they are now going to be used hopefully in this area here now this is where we come to 
the plan, the plan, as was last Sunday. The plan, and this is why I like the idea of retired life, because my brother, amongst all the other things that he's been doing for us um, in the house, has put together this graph, and then he's had cereal boxes, and these are all to scale to those slabs that are hidden behind the bins at the moment. And he's, he's coloured them in grey, as you can see, to match the actual slabs. So last Sunday I was out here with Mum and we, we, we came out and uh, that peg in the middle is um, basically, we're going to claim that's actually where Richard III is buried. He wasn't under a car park in Leicester, we're going to have it here, we could earn a fortune. Um, that is actually the centre of this garden. It's about 14 across by 18 wide, that's not including the path at the back that goes from the dirt. So we've come up with this plan of how to put the slabs. Um, in this centre part here, Mum has a, a bush that she wants to put in there. Um, and then all around is where the planting is going to go. So as I'm standing here now, you would, you would, this is our drive, you would walk onto that. So basically where I am, in line with the, the um, door, you'd walk into this area, maybe have areas here where plants could go. I can't guarantee that that's going to be the case once these slabs go down. And then these four square areas um, would be planting, let's say, this bush that she's got to go in the middle. So that's the plan as it was last Sunday. Happy with that. We're taking pictures of this. I'm going to get this out of the way of the wind, obviously. Um, so that was the plan as of last Sunday. She was happy with that. So I came out and marked it all out figured that we can some of the slabs are two foot wide so that, you know this is going to be the path as it goes round the smaller slab, slabs you would step up to where this plant is going to be in the middle um, it was all hunky-dory then unfortunately mum went to sleep Sunday night and thought about it and has since changed her mind and I think she's since changed her mind again um, and I've warned her that if she keeps changing her mind she's probably going to find herself buried in the garden um, so that's as it stands at the moment um, so that's the front garden and that's the plans for it uh subject to change we're not changed yeah well, all right then yeah believe that when i see it um so that's the state of the front of the estate um then if i go through to the back uh, we did attempt to to paint start paint the wall last year um so mum's been busy with some hanging baskets we've got some spring onions growing in that we've got some herbs in that one um, and of course the, the summer house that we had down in the flat which was in a back garden 40 foot by 40 foot takes up most of the back here um, we've got some more herbs growing in that one some potatoes growing in that one um, mum's potting bench one of two that she has um, We've got uh, all sorts going on here. Mum's now run out of plants, unfortunately, I think, to, to fill these ones up until Aldi, uh, yeah, until Aldi do some more. Um, then Mum's uh, planting is pretty much come to a, a grinding halt. Um, and then in these ones down here, we have some potential lettuce and kale and all sorts starting to come up in these little ones. Seeds that I kept from the flat. Um, seem to be coming along so uh, we'll see how this goes but as i say the boxes that i had that we grew all those vegetables and stuff in 2018 um i might at some point put these back together put them out the front here um because i don't think we're gonna ever get uh it would ever be safe to try and mow this part this section um of the lawn um ever again uh, as I say I've been out here this morning just digging out bits of the old brick wall that came flying through with the car so I think the sensible thing probably is to rebuild those beds and put them out here um, and we can keep the cars um, the grass is pretty much mullered where we've had to park during the winter um, but uh, that's a project for another time oh another bit of brick there look like I missed that bit um, so that's the uh, estate from the outside um, now we'll do a bit of the estate um, from the inside I just have to show you these though these are tulips 
um, fabulous colour. Mum didn't realise that they were going to come up in amongst this bush. But beautiful tulip, lovely colour. Um, shame they can't can't be seen. But as I say, there we go. That's uh, that's as it stands at the moment. Shall continue on the inside of the estate now. Uh, obviously, I think most people have seen the the laundry room. Um, that my brother decorated and put together for us. It's um, it's a godsend because this thing's practically going every day. Um, we still got the cupboard with the light, so we can keep all our laundry supplies and whatnot in there. Um, the tile that went up the wall. We've got somewhere to hang our keys, um, and then the the tile came out into the main entrance way. Um, if anybody can remember or seen the pictures of the horrible artex that we had, this has all been done. Um, me being me, I've got the plain white, all the coving, uh, lovely new light fixture. Um, this is our downstairs loo. Um, this was already decorated um, when we, we moved in, so um, that's that. For sure, standard loo. Um, and then my other niece, Sarah, had some of these um, wooden flooring left over, which again my brother has put down for us in this part of the hallway. Um, and then we have our Harry the Potter cupboard because it goes under the stairs. Now, we did have Neville and Johnson come in and do new stair rails for us. We didn't have any stair rails, there was none when we moved in. Um, and we picked something called Eldon, which is a twisted um, spindle and they came and part of it included all this cladding, the white cladding, goes up the stairs um, and this trim was all part of it, so this was all done by the fitter when he came, so the cladding either side um, and this as it goes up. Um, so we were at a loss to do what to do down here in terms of skirting board because the skirting board all came off down here and then it was like to, oh, I mentioned to my brother do we think that we continue could continue what Neville and Johnson had done down here and of course my brother said yes of course we can um, so we managed to go out and find some strips of wood we stained them um, this is whiteboard and behind that is just MDF so he's glued that to the MDF skirting to bring this out. This is all in stain um, and then he did the same here. Um, this was before Neville and Johnson put this in. This was a horrible, supposed to be white but it was like um, wood um, cladding. So again we put white board, he's done these strips and again done the skirting board like that. Um, that's the entrance way to the kitchen. Now there was a glass sliding door on there, we will put one back. Um, when obviously we can get stuff <laughs> delivered at some point. Um, we we're going to have a stand-up radiator. There was a radiator there but it went along the wall. The plumbing's there already. The radiator is actually laying down in the lounge at the moment. That was delivered a couple of weeks before lockdown and then we went into lockdown so that's all obviously as and when. We're not worried about that. <laughs> Uh, we had ordered carpet for the stairs to be done. That was going to be done on the Thursday as we went into lockdown on the Tuesday and obviously sensibly uh, because of when we ordered it and when they could deliver it that was, that's all been put on hold so that's no problem either. So this is still the trim that went round that Neville and Johnson put in. The guy, the fitter even made us a shelf um, up here for an upstairs window. And the reason that uh, we decided to carry it on is because the Neville and Johnson bit finished here as you can see so it was like well, what do we do and this was the the deciding factor that we would actually continue upstairs as well as down um, so that's the, the spindle and it, it's made a difference having the walls done the uh, the, the coving put in uh, the doors you can see the difference when we moved in those doors look white and they now look horribly yellow but the frames have all been painted. I've learned how to put plugs and switches on by my brother. 
Um, this is our upstairs loo. Again, this was all decorated before we moved in, so that saved us a, a hell of a job. And this is the upstairs bathroom. Probably people have seen these pictures all before. Um, but So we had a rather large shower. There's no actual bath. Um, the sink and so on. Uh, that room there is Marie's art music room. Obviously bedroom, mum's room, um, and so on and so forth. So at some point all the doors will be uh, replaced. Um, the glass door that was hanging there was one like this. Um, but we'd like to obviously change those. Um, and I don't know if it can be seen, but the handles that we hope to put on all the doors are like this. So it's got a slight twist in them so that it matches uh, the um, stair rails and stuff. So we're slowly getting there. Um, but as I say, um, that's about the update from inside. We're fortunate that the lounge and dining room really doesn't need anything doing at the moment. Mum's bedroom was decorated before she moved up. So it's just the other two rooms and then I think we're pretty much pretty much done. The next one will probably be the kitchen. So that the chef has the, the kitchen that uh, she needs. Um, but until then, and until um, we can get more supplies and that's pretty much it. But. Um, that's, uh, that's the update from the estate.